Let's talk about relationships, romance. Personal relationships always seem to be the first priority for many of us. Perhaps you are always searching for love. Hunting for love doesn't always bring the right partner, because the reasons for wanting love are unclear. We think, oh, if I only had someone who loved me, my life would be so much better. But that's not the way it works. There is a big difference between the need for love and being needy for love. When you are needy for love, it simply means that you are missing love and approval from the most important person you know, yourself. You may become involved in relationships that are codependent and ineffectual for both partners. You can never create love in your life by talking or thinking about being lonely. Feeling lonely and needy just pushes people away. You cannot heal a relationship in your life by talking or thinking about how awful it is now. This only puts the attention on the problem, not the solution. You want to turn your thoughts away from the problem and create new thoughts that will produce a solution. Arguing for your limitations is just resistance, and resistance is only a delay tactic. It's another way of saying, I'm not good enough to have what I'm asking for. The first relationship to improve is the one you have with yourself. When you are happy with yourself, then all your other relationships improve too. A happy person is very attractive to others. If you are looking for more love, then you need to love yourself more. This means no criticism. No complaining, no blaming, no whining, and no choosing to feel lonely. It means being very content with yourself in the present moment and choosing to think thoughts that make you feel good now. There is no one way to experience love, for we all experience love in different ways. For some of us to really experience love, we need to feel love through being hugged and touched. For others to really feel loved, we need to hear the words, I love you. For others, we need to see a demonstration of love, like a gift of flowers. Our preferred way of experiencing love is often the way we feel most comfortable demonstrating love. I suggest that you work on loving yourself nonstop. Demonstrate to yourself the growing love that you have for yourself. Treat yourself to romance and love. Show yourself how special you are. Pamper yourself. Buy yourself flowers. Surround yourself with colors, textures, and scents that please you. Life always mirrors back to us the feelings we have inside. As you grow in an inner sense of love and romance, the right person to share your growing sense of intimacy will be attracted to you like a magnet. If you want to go from loneliness thinking to fulfillment thinking, then you need to think in terms of creating a loving mental atmosphere within you and around you. Do let all those negative thoughts about love and romance just fade away and fill your mind with thoughts of love. Think of sharing love and approval and acceptance with everyone you meet. When you are able to contribute to the fulfillment of your own needs, then you will not be so needy, so codependent. It has to do with how much you love yourself. When you truly love who you are, you stay centered, calm, and secure, and your relationships at home as well as at work are wonderful. You will find yourself reacting to various situations and people differently. Matters that once may have been desperately important won't be quite as important anymore. New people will enter your life, and perhaps some old one will disappear, which can be scary at first, and also wonderful, refreshing, and exciting. Once you have all this clear in your mind, and you know what you want in a relationship, you must go out and be with people. No one is going to suddenly appear at your doorstep. A good way to meet people is in a support group or a night class. It enables you to connect with people who are like-minded or who are involved in the same interests.
It's amazing how quickly you can meet new friends. Be open and receptive, and the universe will respond to you for your highest good. Think happy thoughts, and you will be a happy person, and everyone will want to be with you, and all your current relationships will approve. Positive Affirmations for Love I will allow these affirmations to fill my consciousness knowing they will become true for me and I will practice them often and with joy. From time to time I ask those I love, how can I love you more? I choose to see clearly with eyes of love. I love what I see. I draw love and romance into my life and I accept it now. Love is around every corner and joy fills my entire world. I rejoice in the love I encounter every day. I am comfortable looking in the mirror saying, I love you, I really, really love you. I now deserve love, romance and joy and all the good that life has to offer me. I am surrounded by love, all is well. I am in a joyous, intimate relationship with a person who truly loves me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I am greeted by love wherever I go. I attract only healthy relationships. I am always treated well. I am very thankful for all the love in my life. I find it everywhere. 